late start this morning because Abigail, bye bye, was off poorly. So we're not getting into work until 12.57 because I had to look after her this morning but she's miraculously perked back up. So into work we go. Right, we've come into the brew shed this morning. I've been told there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of maintenance work to be done. Okay, so apparently there's something poking out the top of the toilet. A bit of metal, Gemma said. And so there is. Hmm. Let's have a look. level the tabletop and extend these uh, grooves. <laughs> so we've got a delivery. Let's have a look. I think it's the welding torch. Yeah, big torch. Kennedy. I think I told Froggy it was something else. So we've got a Kennedy. 320 amp. 4 meter cable, mixed gas. Oh, wow. Look at that beauty. Well, let's hope that she works nicely. We'll give her a whirl. Right, because Gemma's left it at home, I'm gonna go back up home and pick up the Royal Mail delivery thing. Let's see what we've got. See you later, Jam. Bye. Well, I won't be going to pick it up because they close at bloody one o'clock. It's the frigging post office, man. time do we that's it I have to now go and pick Abigail and Dominic up from school a very very short day today I wonder if I'll be able to come back down to work if the old uh, mother will have them doubt it so the kids are picked up no mother to look after them unfortunately we've been across to see if she's in she's not in so what do we do? What do we do now? Ten past four, two children in tow, Monday afternoon. It's cold outside, they don't want to go anywhere. So we have to come up with something entertaining. Keep us busy. Probably feed them as well. <laughs> what would you like to do tonight, Abs? Watch Cookie Swirl C. You always want to watch Cookie Swirl C. Why don't we pick a film, one that you've not seen, and we sit down all together, get some popcorn, and watch the movie? Yeah. Yeah? And cinemas. No, here. Hey. 
sitting in his. It would appear the door's blown closed on the chicken pen. And they're all queuing up to get in, look. You queuing up, pal? He wanted to get in. How's that? Shoes on then, sweetie pie. We're off to pick mummy up now and finish a job at the pub that I was meant to do this morning. Okay. I have to take the base panel off of the glass washer. I need to get access to the peristaltic pumps that are on the inside and what I've got to do is replace oh god that's tight is replace the tubing because uh, one's completely perished now, I found a source online it's quite expensive actually for these tubes but I need to get the brand of the pump so I can make sure I'm using the correct one so I think it's this pump yeah that's the one and It's AC, so there shouldn't be a polarity. So I'll take this out and we'll take it home. It's a Bram and we'll fix it. And I also need to measure the diameter of the waste pipe under here. I think it's 32 mil. But better safe than sorry. Let's have a look. Oh, it's 40. Good, good job I measured then, isn't it? Hey up, Jem. Hey up. Right, so I've taken this peristaltic pump off. This is actually the, the boy that's got the issue. And there should be a hose that runs around, runs around the back of this pump. And as that wheel turns, it squeezes the hose and allows and, and forces the liquid through suction to move through and each revolution will dose a certain amount of liquid out the other end of the pipe. Uh, I'm not sure, it depends obviously on the diameter of the hose and the length of the hose inside this arc, but what's broken is the connector at the bottom, these two bits here, these two little sections, one's missing and they are what connect onto the pipe on the inside so what we will do is at some point find some of this silicon pipe and get it replaced pop it back in, should be good as new and then the issue that I have down here with the waste pipe underneath the sink is the fact that it's pumping uphill to get to it so what I have to do is get a connector floor level so that that waste pipe isn't feeding back into the washer because it can cause bad smells and whatnot in there so this was just a foresight of mine when I installed the unit we'll fix that this week at some point too beautiful piece of oak I think I'll take that to work I can use that for something this is what I'm after a heat gun so I'm going to try and use this to form PVC pipe to make connectors for the dust collection which I'm hoping to do some of tomorrow we'll see you then <laughs> 